And now, it is my pleasure to introduce Hartston and Newton Community Primary School. As huge supporters of Peace One Day and the work they've been doing over the years, it is so important to hear the voices of young people on the day that celebrates education. They have prepared something very special for us, so let's hear from the school now. Please welcome the wonderful Hartston and Newton Community Primary School. Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Harston and Newton Primary School. We are so thrilled and excited to be part of this global event, talking to you about sustainability and peace in education. Well, you've heard enough from me. I'd like to hand you over to the real experts. Bonjour et bienvenue à Education Live. Nous sommes la prochaine génération de quelqu'un de la paix. Ciao et benvenuto à l'institutione intimata de la prossima génération de peacekeeper. Sveiki, so je vis sveiki, ka da se lojosas kartos teko saugoti, te sogi e švietimas visiems. Sa šveka, šanti da šveti a kumpini kolo sveti alai tešmaka. Hello and welcome to Education Live from the next generation of peacekeepers. What do you think children can do to get adults to listen? Uh, so I think it is really important, you know, you can often feel like a child that you don't have power in the world, but actually there are so many examples of where one person can change things and children can definitely do that. So most important thing, find a trusted adult, Anything that you're worried about, you're concerned about, speak to a trusted adult. That can be your teacher, someone in your community, your parents, your carers, but it can also be people like MPs and those who are in positions of power. And there's loads of examples of where children have changed things, so don't give up. Now, when Jeremy was starting Peace one day, he was one person with an idea, and he has managed to get the whole world around a hot one day and an idea of having no violence in the world on one day. So one person can change the world, so don't give up and keep trying. What can we do to make the world a better place? So I think there are so many things that you can do. And what's brilliant about Harsten and Newton School from what I've seen is that you're all really committed to making the planet a better place for you to live in. So you've told me all about recycling, you've told me all about how you think it's really important to cycle to school. Did you know that if you one child swapped the car to cycle to school every single day of a school year, you'd actually save as much carbon in the atmosphere um, as being able to plant eight trees and letting them grow for 10 years. So small things like that if we all do it we can make a big difference in the world so it's great that you're already really committed to doing this and i think you're a fantastic school so thank you for letting us in for education live thank you thank you
The children would love now to share with you their own poem about sustainability, peace, and children's voice, simply called Pause. You shaped our yesterday and our letter shaped tomorrow, so don't let today slip away. We don't want to inherit your sorrow. No more weak talking, you have to listen. Now's the time to make a decision. Can't you not see our earth is stein? What with climate change, surreal nature is crime. Be kind to our beautiful earth. It's time to rethink the chance of rebirth. Stop! Stand still! Now listen to us! Please hear our cries, we're not going to make a fuss. Simple steps like one, two, three, recycle all planted tree. Need the car, make it stay, recycle and send and pedal away. No pollution, get fit, take guide. Need to get there quicker, easy ride your bike. Cycle to school, to work or the shop, enough of using our cars, it has to stop. The sands of time have nearly run out. For us, the younger generation, why don't you hear us shout? We abuse our earth without a care or fear. Ignoring the world's children as we shed a tear. This is the environment that surrounds me. Plastic and dying coral in our lifeless seas. Mother Earth, you gave us all the wonder we need. Had been replaced by thirst for money and greed. You continue to pollute her water and air. Bore us, Mother Nature, do you not care? Can you now listen and look for a solution instead of swimming in money and creating pollution? This is our future we want to look after. It's a mother to us we want to pray for. Why it takes so long? There's no need to hide, as all it takes is please understand it and to be kind. Water is life, we need it to survive. Listen, without your help our earth cannot thrive. So no more talk, let's act and help our land and sea. As you all seem to forget, there is no planet B. So listen to us, this is no joke. But with peace in our hearts, there's still hope. We can do this now. Mother Nature, cheers Ray. So let the world come together as part of peace one day. So recycle more, get on your bike and don't drive. Thanks for listening to Education Live.